Hello everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to export data from a Google spreadsheet to Firestore in a Firebase project. This process is also useful if you want to seed your Firestore database with data from a Google Sheet. Let's start by looking at the spreadsheet I'm using. It contains two records, one for ships and another for ports. Our goal is to export this data to Firestore. I'll also show you my Firestore database in the Firebase console. As you can see, my Firestore database is currently empty with no collections. If you're new to setting up a Firestore database from scratch, I've linked a video in the description that walks you through the process. You'll need a Firebase project ID and service account credentials to authenticate and get an access token. Please check that video out if you haven't set up your Firestore database yet. Quickly, I'll show you how to get your service account credentials. On the left sidebar of your Firebase console, click on Project Settings. Then navigate to Service Accounts. From here, you can generate a new private key, which will download as a JSON file. Upload this JSON file to your Google Drive and obtain its file ID so we can use it later. You'll also need to copy your project ID. Now let's go back to the spreadsheet. When you open it, you'll see a custom menu named Firestore. My current active sheet is Ports. Now I'll click Export to Firestore. The script has finished running. And after refreshing the Firebase console, you'll see a new collection with all the data inside. Now I'll guide you on how to set this up yourself. First, copy the spreadsheet using the link provided in the description. You should see the Firestore custom menu. The first time you click it, you'll be asked to authorize the script, grant the necessary permissions. Next, go to Extensions and open the script editor. At the top, you'll see fields for the credentials file ID and project ID. Replace these with your own. Again, to get the credential file ID and project ID, watch the linked video. Once that's set, let's look at the main script file, seed.js. At the top, you'll see a script that creates a custom menu, adds a menu item, and links it to the seed data function. The seed data function retrieves the active sheet and its name, then gathers the sheet data as a JSON array using the get JSON array helper function. This function converts the two dimensional array into an array of JSON objects. We then convert this JSON array into Firestore objects using the convert to Firestore object function. The convert to Firestore object function creates an ID and Firestore objects, which include an ID and fields formatted for Firestore. The fields are generated using another helper function create field value. Finally, the script loops through the Firestore objects to create batch write requests, which are sent to Firestore using the Firestore batch request function. 
If you're curious about obtaining the access token, I've defined those methods in another script that handles everything. Credential, file ID, and project ID are constant values used throughout the script. Credentials, file ID, refers to the ID of a file stored in Google Drive that contains the service account credentials. Project ID represents the Firebase project ID. The getServiceAccountKey function retrieves the service account's credentials by accessing the file with provided credentials, file ID. The file is parsed from JSON into an object that contains critical information like client email and private key, which are needed to generate a JWT for authentication. Create JWT constructs a JWT which is necessary for OAuth2 service account authentication. Finally, it sends a POST request to the OAuth token endpoint, providing the JWT as part of the payload. The response contains an access token, which is necessary to authenticate API requests to Firestore. Let me also show you how the data is transformed at various stages by running the code again, but this time I will run it from the script editor. That's it for this code review. I hope this helps with your project. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.